They told me boys don't cry or play with Barbies So my whole life I've tried my hardest To be the man that they wanted me to be Sakuatsu week 2023, day 1, 4 out of 4 To fake date Sakusa Kiyomi Atsumu groaned out loud in frustration Frustration for who? For himself it's been three days since he ran and started avoiding Sakusa, a feat he didn't know he can do. Atsumu sighs as he picks up his phone and opens his messages. Atsumu's being a major clown since three days ago. Osamu, scrub, Sakusa Smopey, what the fuck did you do? Sakusa Kiyomi, 13 messages available. He clicks on the group, ready to defend himself and Rosuna. Atsumu's being a major clown since three days ago. He ran away from his boyfriend after Sakusa asked him out because, and I fucking quote the dumbass, I can't believe I'm actually dating the guy. Ren, you motherfucker. But true. It's been three days Atsumu talked to him. You left Sakusa hanging? He left him on the streets. Atsumu-san, why? He must have been flustered. I really was. No, I'm too embarrassed to face him. Osamu keeps me updated. Your beloved has been sighing 10 times now. I'll talk to him, the big baby. I mean not big baby, hand slip them out. Gross. Aww. How sweet. Ew. Atsumu groaned as he reread what he sent. Big baby, he mouths. Time to face the music. He got up and dialed Sakusa's number. Confess or to not confess? That is the question. Hey, Omi, i like you to meet me at the cafe. Sure, I have something to... He ended the call. Rejection or acceptance over a call would be shitty. But then again, he confessed over call too. His phone lit up and he checked it to see a message from Sakusa. Sakusa Kiyomi. Come over instead. I kicked Osamu out. Osamu. Bastard, your jerk boyfriend kicked me out so you can talk. Fix it or I'm fucking Rin on your bed. Atsumu scoffed and got dressed. He hopes talking to Sakusa would settle the problem. What problem? You're in love with him, dipshit. I can't believe I like the guy. He slapped his cheeks and shook off his nerves. Well, tried to. He was still shaking on his way out. Hi. His voice was barely a whisper. Talking to Sakusa was a torture he put himself through at his fault. Hey, you. Hey, me. So, yeah, I like you, which I now know. Just realized after Sakishima pointed it out. You can reject me, though. Sakusa hummed in reply. He was wearing a mask that hid most of his face. Atsumu stood nervously as seconds passed and no reply was given. Look, I can go and we can call it off, tell our friends we didn't work out. It's really not a big deal, you know? We can just pretend it's water under the bridge. Asumu forced a laugh out, hoping for a reply this time. Or you can ignore me and I can leave. I'm gonna leave now, alright? He headed for the door, stopping when he had the doorknob in his hand. He swallowed the lump in his throat. You know, I really thought you'd talk at least. I mean, you're the one who invited me here. He opened the door and walked out. He trudged down the hall with his head high and climbed in the elevator. What was the point? Sakusa's a jerk. He looked up, sparing a glance to the door and saw Sakusa there. He saw his lips move, stop, and frown more before the elevator doors closed. Your resolve's weak. Do you even like me? He punched the number to Sakusa's floor again and felt anger simmer in his veins. How dare he? How dare he? How fucking dare he? The elevator doors opened on Sakusa's floor and he barged in on Sakusa lying on the bed. How dare ya? I had to... You can't tell me that! I had to fucking... I'm trying here, okay? You're the one who isn't saying something like a fucking mute! And I'm the one with a weak resolve? Are you done? Am I done? That's the only thing you can say! You, you stupid fuck can't even reject someone properly. No, you had to insult me. Me, 
Sakusa, I came here prepared to talk, to reach an agreement, to get rejected. I wouldn't have done that if I didn't like you, you arrogant jerk! I... The lump of his throat returned, bringing in the tears this time. I like you. So fucking reject me and we can pretend this never happened. The bed creaked and Sakusa was in front of him, mass discarded and hurt on his features. Oh, so you're crying too? Why do you think I said you have a weak resolve? I don't know. I don't know, you dumb fuck. Go die. Hatsumu. No. No, you don't get to say my name like that. Atsumu shook his head, holding it high as to stop the tears from falling. If you like me, you have to be selfish. No. Don't. Stop. Just shut up. I don't need a fucking lecture. If you like me, you stay and tell me. If you like me, you prove it, not run away when things aren't going your way. Atsumu, if you like me, say it while you're looking at me. Not at the floors. You looked upset, just saying it. Sakusa pulled him to his embrace and lifted his chin. His eyes were glued shut, chest heaving for air, like Atsumu was pained to stay in his arms. Atsumu, I like you, but you already decided I don't, didn't you? That's why you asked for a rejection. No, no, your silence was mocking me. And you asking for the rejection was mocking me too, because you decided for us before we even got together. No, no, Omi. Atsumu sobbed into Sakusa's shoulder. They were hurting each other before they even got together. I'm sorry I didn't say something. I I spiraled when you brought up the rejection. Sorry. Sorry as well. Atsumu finally found his voice. I like you too, Omi. Sorry I blew up on you. It's alright. It's fine. Sakusa gently cradled his face and hugged him tighter. He doesn't know when they'd sat down and stopped crying. He doesn't know how long they held each other until they stopped sniffling. But he does know that they like each other and that they're emotional and anxious in their own rights. End!